So I'm putting this in for my PVC. Um, it's just an oil air separator because I I want to pull a vacuum on my crankcase. So I'm gonna hook one side up to vacuum, one side up to the valley cover, um, and then there's uh, steel wool in here. So uh, some people think it's necessary. Some people think it doesn't. I do believe that pulling a vacuum in the crankcase will relieve pressure on the bottom end of the pistons and make it just easier for them to go down. I mean, that's at least my logic. So anyways, yeah, just some super short, super easy. So back to it. I came up with these brackets. Use these holes here. There's one here and one there. I just cut this piece of bracket, um, shape it up and then it'll mount next to it right here so let me do that back to it so it's welded it up oh. uh, looks like shit <laughs> okay but it's getting better i mean every time i weld it gets better a bunch of steel practices down there too but yeah this is for uh, oil air separator Test fit is done. I think it came out really, really clean. So it's not bolted in all the way, but it's up there. Mock up. This is going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be, yeah, like that. So for sure, going to scratch the shit out of that trying to hold it. And then again, I'm going to have one going to my intake and then one going to. The valley here I'm gonna have to move that once I go turbo but the whole PVC is gonna have to be changed when I go turbo anyways so I'm still gonna run that to uh, evacuate the crankcase but I'll have I already have the valve covers but I've built it uh, well I'll have a bung in the back and a bung in the back of the other side and then I'll just pull them over I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna have to relocate these coils and then the wires because it'll be up and forward headers so that's definitely gonna be in the way um, but yeah like I said I gotta it's gonna be a completely different setup when it's turbo for the PVC than it is than it is now um, yeah so I'll put a one-way valve on this side and then this will go to the crank so yeah anyways I think it looks oh um cans in there i think it looks really clean so back to it so you can see i just painted it black with some black enamel i ended up filling that hole i could have ground it down i just wasn't really feeling it didn't seem necessary so you can you can't really tell so shouldn't be eyeballing that shit that deep anyways so yeah back to it okay so just ran these lines this one still has to go to um, the intake port. So I'm going to run that just to the cold air intake once it's made. I haven't made it yet. Still got to weld it up. If I can get it back in the damn hole. So and this one just goes to the valley right here. So I'll pull fresh air in. Um, and then the there's a baffle in the valley cover. And there's another baffle in here. So it's just uh, still wool and baffling. So... And then when that fills up, you can drain it, excuse the plane. So, yep, that's it, man. Moroso for the win. Can't, you don't have an old school if you don't have Moroso parts on it. I'm sorry. So, all right, back to it.